Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to get SAP tables connected to Excel Power Query for real-time SAP table data. Next to SAP tables, you can also use SAP CDS views. This video focuses on connecting to Excel Power Query, but the same steps apply to connecting to Power BI. If you want to connect to Power Automate, then please check my other video. Just as a heads up, first I will show you to get the extractable connector set up and then we will move on to Excel to build our Power Query. For the connector download, see the video description. So this is the connector and you see that as SAP system, I selected Pro Client 100. I also use SAP Default Table SBook to get data from. First, we will download the table as a CSV file. The reason we download as a CSV file is that we will first use the read saved table web service in Power Query. That web service is extremely fast and gives Power Query the build structures it needs. We now see the connector is downloading the table data. Next step is to make sure the web services are activated. We activate both services extract table as well as read save table. Make sure to also mark the reply alternate handshake checkbox. We click both start service buttons to activate them. You can also see that as domain addresses, I used localhost as value. That means that you are using your local PC to access the services on. The pulsing green icon tells us that the service is running. Note that you can also run the connector from a network server. You then have to use that server's IP address or domain address in Excel. Now we move on to the Excel part. We start defining our Power Query, where we will first set structures with the use of the read saved table web service. As Power Query data source, we use the from web variant. As URL, we copy the read saved table web service address from the connector. Once the Power Query is running fine, we will replace that in the end with the extract table web service. We must complete the URL with the table and SAP system that we want data from. These two values must be concatenated with the vertical bar character. Clicking OK brings us to the next window where we click the Transform Data button in order to make some settings. We always remove the default step Change Type Next, we double-click the source step. We always change the file type to XML table, and we always set file origin to UTF-8. Remember, all the steps in this video are universal for any SAP table or CDS view. In the next screen, we click the tiny button on the right in the table column. That will let us select the columns we want displayed. We always deselect the column's name and table. We also always deselect the checkbox, use original column name as prefix. After clicking OK, we see a screen that looks like a table already. From this screen, we always delete the first row, as such is a leftover from the XML table. Here you already see the first column, and that is inserted by the extractable connector. It tells you the table, system, date and time that the data was last refreshed from. We now close the settings and start loading the data. In the background, Excel is going to make multiple connects with the web service to get all structures and data checked. You see that Excel finished loading and that it took all nine rows from table S book. It also has all columns. 
You could also have set a filter in the connector for specific records and columns. Now that the Power Query setup is successful, we will adjust the URL source to the Extract Table web service for real-time results. For that, we double-click the query. In the Query Source step, we are going to replace the Read Saved Table web service with the address of the Extract Table web service. We copy that from the connector first. Now we paste that copied extract table web service, and we of course keep the table and SAP system part at the end. We now close the settings again and load the data. Now Excel is telling the connector to connect to SAP and fetch the real-time data. We can witness such in the connector accordingly. We can see in the first column the timestamp that we are still looking at are of the original data. Once Power Query has finished, it refreshes all data and timestamp from the real-time SAP data. We can also test this by just taking out some data parts and deleting some rows and by then refreshing the data. You, of course, can best compare it to the SAP table or CDS view in SAP itself. Here you now see the local host domain. That would be different if you were to use a network server domain or IP address. The refresh shows us all real-time updated data and timestamps. That is it. Remember all steps are universal for any table or CDS view. The link to the free connector is in this video's description. Thanks for watching.